How's it going, YouTube? It's your boy Ron. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we had finished at the cycling road and traveled back to Fusion City for one last time to defeat Koga and grab badge number five. Today's episode, we are going to be heading to Saffron City to do one thing before we can even attempt to challenge the next gym leader, Sabrina, for badge six. And that is to go ahead and entering this building right here, one of the major landmarks in Kanto, the Slift Co. Right now, as you can see, Team Rocket has been plagued in Saffron City since many episodes back when we first entered Celadon City. And luckily this guard before then was guarding it, but now that he's taken a sleep, he has now left it open for us to go ahead and explore. Pretty much, I believe, after you beat Koga, I think this is when it opens up, if I'm remembering correctly. And the Slip Coat is one of the major, I guess, enterprises in Kanto. It's home to, like, many, I guess, businesses and, I guess, has a lot of value to Kanto. I honestly don't know the big, big story behind it. But it is a big corporation and Team Rocket has plans to take it over. I don't remember exactly why. They never really mention it in the anime either. Like it never, like when they enter Saffron City, they never really make any attempt to like talk about um, the Slip Coat. I think it comes up more in Pokemon Generations, you know, the actual like short films that actually more in tie to the handheld games than really the anime did. Um, but don't, don't ask me why that there's a, there's a difference or a distinct difference between that. I don't know. Has something to do with, I guess, just having power or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so, what honestly, today's episode is just gonna be with, it's just gonna be a lot of slip co exploration. Uh, we really just have to get Team Rocket out of here because the reason we have to even do this is it is part of the story. Since they are pretty much preoccupied here, there are many rocket grunts that are surrounding Saffron City, blocking many attractions, including the gym. So we have to do this first before we can even. Pretty much, I'll, I'll say this, the next episode, after we clear this up, we should be able to enter the gym and then challenge badge for badge 6 next time. Um, I will say this will take up a majority of today's episode. Maybe not the longest, but it will take up a good amount of time. It will be useful though, there are a lot of rocket grunts here. There are, there are many opportunities for us to get some good battles in. And there's also two major battles that'll occur here that are definitely going to be necessary for us to complete not only for xp but also just to progress further in the story uh i will say for a little bit of a minor story no kids allowed yeah then don't let the guy that's guarding the building be on sleep on the job that's not what you're supposed to have uh i will say the couple times that i've gone through the slip co through my regular playthroughs i have always gotten lost i never remember for the life of me what you're supposed to do um, now I did because before I, I started today's episode, I actually had to look it up because I had no clue how to do it. You literally would have just seen me go through like so many floors consecutively, just not figuring out how to get out of here. Um, we have to head to the, we have to head over to the fifth floor, grab the key because as you can see, many pathways and doorways are locked, and it says no, it needs a card key. That's the key item that we're going to be needing so we can get further. It is off limits here. Go home. I think a lot. I think every trainer you can battle here is a team rocket um i guess grunt or employee i don't know i guess minion i really don't know what the right word is in this case i mean yeah employee but like i guess follower i don't i really don't know um but i will that shouldn't kill me i hate how i did that but then, okay that did nothing who's next magneton all right great this is going to be a great opportunity for horns as you can tell Compared to the last episode, I did give some of my teammates um, some a few more level ups here and there, just to help them get prepared for this bat for these battles coming up. Um, I will say, when it comes to Sabrina, it's not going to be any different than how we saw Koga. Obviously, they're different leaders. Obviously, different Pokemon are going to be happening, but the levels are nearly identical. So we'll be seeing pretty much copy and paste of the level format. So 37, 37, 39, and 43. Obviously, I do know 37 was the lowest and 43 was the highest. I just don't remember everything in the middle. Alright, oh, we're in 4-8. Yeah, I'll take the elevator down. You're causing us problems. No, you guys are causing me problems. I just want to... I just want to continue and you guys are just messing with me. Okay, let me just dig. This is going to take a while just to do all that. And I will say, since there's a lot of battles here, I will have to do this, but it's okay. At least this gives Ruth a good opportunity. He's not going to be getting a level. He's not going to be evolving probably for quite a while. He still has a game like 15,000 plus XP before I even get there. But I am optimistic that he'll get there sooner than before. Uh, let me see what happens if I just can. Well, I'm one of the four Rocket Brothers. I really don't care. I'll try to go through the warp pipes and see if I can reach the fifth floor that way. But I haven't touched the Slithco in 
years, and everything here is just basically off bad memory. And by bad memory, I just mean me. Oh, okay. I got to see how that actually would have knocked me out. Gold bat. Uh, I'll switch over. Because I know Jolt isn't going to be getting too much action. Probably not for the next gym. Maybe. Not too much for the seventh gym, and definitely not really at all for the last gym. Don't want to spoil too much, but that's just based off its typing. So I'll give it some battle time. I don't want to let it waste off everything. Okay. Um, oh, one thing I did want to say that I didn't do, that I didn't show you guys, is that I did grab the leftovers item, and I gave it to the source. So I can go ahead and show you guys. He is now holding the leftovers, and of course, the leftovers. I've already mentioned this one time, but I didn't really explain too much about it. Leftovers is just one of those valuable held items that many competitive trainers will always know about. Grab that. King Rock's boss is terribly cruel. To him, Pokemon are just tools to be used. What will happen if that tyrant takes over our company? Oh, so he's just an employee hiding. But yeah, so that's his plan. He's he's really Giovanni, the leader, is basically here saying that Pokemon are meant for tools, not for companion friendships, and that. Alright, but I'll explain more of that probably when we see him. When I say probably, we will be seeing him. Uh, like I was talking about with leftovers, it is a held item, regenerates HP over time, very useful item. The only way you can get that in this game, through, I guess, legitimate means, is you have to have the item finder. I'll just switch over. You have to have the item finder, which is an item you get from one of Professor Oak's aides, and you have to make sure you've caught at least 30 Pokemon in your Pokedex for him to be able to give you that item. Um, certain items are found through hidden means, meaning you won't see the physical Pokemon overlay through the overworld. They are going to be hidden. We did get a few items that way legitimately, like rare candies back at Mount Moon. Um, but the only way you can get items that way through an item finder is you have, to have, you have to physically have the item, use it, and then it'll display text box saying that you're under an item and now you dug it up and you retrieved it. That's the only way you can get those kind of items. And to my knowledge, the rare, the, not rare candy, the leftovers is the only legitimate way I think you can even get that kind of item, if I'm remembering correctly. I'm not too sure on that. Don't quote me. Okay, I'm in seventh floor. I'm one of the. I'm one of the. Four. Okay, so we're gonna be probably seeing that text two more times after that since he's already said that to us. Oh, he also has people. Interesting. Uh, I'll switch over to Sora. He needs some battles too. Just because Sora isn't. Sora is very great in the beginning, but then towards the end of the game, I've already mentioned this. He's not gonna be too useful for us anymore. So I just want to get him some XP because I know it'll still be useful for him to have. That's the other... Uh, there's more here. Uh-oh, I smell a little mouse. Where? I don't see it. Alright, eradicate. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll try. <laughs> this is just not so stupid. If you do that, uh, I'll keep it in. Just use Brock Tomb. Luckily, there there are a couple rooms throughout the slip code that host a lot of the, um, I guess, trapped or imprisoned. Well, trapped or imprisoned are the same thing. Trapped, imprisoned, or hiding um, slip code employees that will help us. Some of them will help us heal our Pokemon, so that's going to be a good thing. I don't have to keep running all the way back to the first floor just to heal up and run back. Luckily, I can just find the room that will do it. And I think we, if we have the card key, we'll be able to find that room easier. I just want to get rid of a lot of these battles because this XP gains are going to be extremely helpful. Pretty much if you see a room with a bed, that's pretty much the sign that tells you that's the case. <laughs> you mistook me for a slip worker. The slip co-workers do look like scientists. Pretty much that's just sharing gen general sprites. And luckily these are the guys that have like the electric type, so that's easy for road. I mean for horns, and also self-destruct helps to defend so much of that damage. Free XP, baby, but when it's muck, no. <laughs> Not when it's muck. Oh, come on! Any minimize! Alright, don't poison. Just don't poison. Alright, good. God, that took so long. I was getting nervous I was gonna get poisoned too. Horn drill? Oh my god. Okay, I can learn horn drill. I really can't remove any of these since they're all good. Horn drill is great as a gimmick move, but it's super useless in legitimate means because it's a one hit KO move. It's legit only a 30% chance of landing and that factor is only really determined based on if you're slower than the opponent I believe. I think if you outspeed it you always are guaranteed to miss based off the math if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know if that's something they fixed in the later gens. I think that applies to like the other one hit KO moves like Sheer Cold. 
I just don't remember it. But that's why I don't even use those kind of moves, because it's kind of just gimmicky. I used- I think I tried using it back when I was doing the Stadium playthrough, my very first one. But other than that, it's very useless afterwards, and it's really only meant to like troll or just, you know, be like a very big gimmick. Like, it's really not something you want to ever really try, unless you're just trolling. Oh, I should have switched. I didn't realize it was coughing. Whatever, free XP, Magneton, nope, definitely staying for that. I just realized I don't even have a Fire-type move. I mean, I don't think so far that's been a hindrance in our journey, but I think that still would have been useful to have. Uh, I think I think I worry about that when I hit over to the 7th gym, but for right now, that's not really a concern of mine. I don't think I have to worry about that right now. But I just realized that that's something that I never really even considered. I was always I always plan my teams based on just move coverage, so that way I have at least one type to deal with for any Pokemon that I potentially see. But that's something that just glanced over my mind. I wasn't even well aware. I really was not even well aware of that. And that's the third of the four brothers of Team Rocket here. Interesting. I like how all four of them decided to be Team Rocket members. They were just like... I guess they were all just like bullied or just had like nothing better to do with their lives. And they were just like, alright, let's dedicate our lives to evil. But that's it. That's the plan. That's the plan to go for. Okay. Spending already a good amount of time here, so I just want to go ahead and just try to get through as much as I can. The rockets came to take over the building. I don't think these guys really do anything other than just tell you that they've been taken over. I'm going to try to head over to the fifth floor. Oh, here we are. Alright, but... Alright, so I don't think it's him. Show, show Team Rocket a little respect. I can't when you guys are just messing with me. Uh, I don't have anyone good against Hypno. I'll just use try attack. Dojiro is a good option, it's just it can't handle special hits that well. So that's kind of like my only really benefit. That's something I'm gonna have to worry about with Sabrina though. I'm gonna have to be careful with that. Alright. You don't have the card key. What? It shouldn't be any children. There shouldn't be any children here. This is the only like non rocket looking person here, a juggler. I don't know how he has any connection with Team Rocket, but hey. Yeah, see. Horns could not handle it. Like, if you guys saw his special defense stat in the, like, status menu, it's so weak. It's only, like, 30. Like, 30-ish. It can't handle special things. That's why if you ever hit it with, like, Surf or Razor Leaf or, like, anything, like, grass or water related, it just gets obliterated in, like, 5 seconds. I'm gonna have to heal for now until I find those beds. You have We study Pokeball technology on this floor. You don't have any indication that you're the one with the key. Magneton. Alright, that's fine. I am gonna definitely have to find a way to heal soon, because I'm running out of big PP. Getting these levels though, I like that, but I really gotta find a way to get some of that PP back if I don't find a bed soon. I think I still have some of the... Elixirs? No, Ethers. I think I still have some of those. I sure I can take over this one. I guess it's also great that a lot of them are like low level. And I'll just do quick quick. Uh, I really don't have that many variety of moves. That's the one thing I can really only say as a negative towards my team is just I don't have the greatest variety of Pokemon moves. But I'll just have to deal with that later. I heard a kid was wandering around here. Okay, so I think after we defeat him, we leave we can use that teleporter part to head back into that room. I'm gonna need to do another day that intimidated to help. Alright, that's simple. Don't mind that. Alright, so now that we got him out of the way, I think now that since he's blocking that path, I can just use this teleporting tile. Uh, and then I'll use it again. And then down here should be the card key. Yep, there we go. That's the card key. Alright. Alright, so now let me head over towards... What floor does this take me to? The ninth floor? Okay, I'll go ahead and use this. There's gonna be a lot of doors here. You have po your Pokemon have weak points. I can nail them. Okay, I did not even. I was like, I legit did not understand what he said. <laughs> your Pokemon have weak points. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? What did he say? If you guys know what that's from, <laughs> I have a horrible attempt at that. I do have a friend that does that voice very well. Like, it's amazing how he cannot make recreate that voice from from SpongeBob. If you guys know what I'm talking about, and if you don't, well, then I guess you guys are a bit too old. I mean, too too young, too young. Can't do, can't do math. Okay, I really need to find that lady with the bed, because I can't... I can't just continue this way. 
think it's I think it's on the ninth floor, but I don't see any beds or anything. Well, there's a trainer here. I just use Rock Tomb. I can't tell if he's the one that said if he has the one with the other brothers. I'm gonna have to get through these battles. Alright, card key, boom, bingo. Oh, there she is! Alright, so it is the ninth floor. You look tired, you should take a quick nap. Alright, bit. Alright. And there's another rocket grunt right there. Oh, okay, so it could have been either way. <laughs> I like how the screen had to make me go all the way over there to see him. Again, just gonna be a lot of rocket grunt battles. I'm just gonna have to speed run all this through. I should still be decent on time. There are still two things I haven't even done yet, and we're still super far into the video. But hopefully I should be able to get past a lot of this. Oh, we're on the third floor now. I support Team Rocket more than I support the Slip Code. Okay, so he's just someone that just turned evil out of nowhere. Electro, easy. He used Tackle, I thought it was going to do Self-Destruct. I should have just switched right here, but this is what happens when I speed through it and I don't read, but that's okay. Uh, let me see. Arcade should open here. I'm trying to think of what I should be doing now. Because I do want to at least progress a little further. Oh, I forgot to even realize. You see, there's so many rocket grunts here. I don't even remember who I battled versus who I did. Hypno. Uh, no, I definitely want three beats for this. Only option I have. Raticate. Lee. Brick Break. Everyone's getting some good levels, especially horns, and that's what I definitely wanted. Um, what floor am I on? I don't even know. I'm on the fourth, getting back to the fifth, go up to sixth, and then we head over. Okay, so I'm on the sixth floor again. Then we head over to the seventh floor. Thank you. Now these guys have been trapped. It's really dangerous out here. You can't save me. You can't. I mean, I wasn't planning on it, but okay. Um, I think I have to. Oh no, what I was supposed to do is head to the third floor. Um, dang, there's actually a lot of trainers here. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, but I'll go ahead and just do one last significant portion, and then I may have to just wrap it up. Wait, no, second floor. No. I can't. I can't use a set of stairs, can I? Okay, so let me head over here, and then one of the tiles should take me over to where I need to go. Not this one. I'm trying to remember how I'm supposed to do this. Here. Was it this one? I'm trying to remember. Uh, this takes me to a storage room with Focus Punch. Good move. I mean, Focus Punch has one of the highest base fighting stat, fighting powers in the game. Okay, it has 150 base power. The only downside is is that what am I supposed to do? The only downside of that is that it needs to be recharged for a whole turn, and if you get hit, you lose your focus and you can't use the move. Okay, so it's not that. I'm on the third floor, right? Okay, yeah, see, like I said, I'm probably gonna have to dedicate a whole video to just me trying to figure out how to get out of here. No, stop. Eek, you're not with Team Rocket. I teach you Thunder Wave? You're gonna try to teach me Thunder Wave? Yeah, now I'm good. It is convenient, but I don't need you to teach me. Help, I'm a Slip employee. But I will have to probably heal up until I can find the next room because I'm having a real difficult time trying to find it. <laughs> oh man, I'm so bad at this game. Is it this? Was I trying to do this? No, I'm back at the sixth floor. Um. Maybe here? I really don't remember. What have you said? I wonder if Slip is finished. Eh, yeah, probably. You guys are probably done for. Not here. Oh, I took me through that. Oh, I already battled that guy, so never mind. I already went that way, too. Ugh, okay. Well, we are hitting the time limit, and I'm really bad at this game, so I'm probably just gonna have to call it an end very soon if I can't even find where I'm supposed to go. I'll just battle this guy. A child intruder? That must be you. True, although you shouldn't let a guard sleep if that's the case. 
Oh yeah, I just realized Horton's getting up to level 40 soon. He might, I might be able to evolve him pretty soon, actually. That would be very convenient. All right, the sand slash. I'll let so I handle this. Yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it. Get out of here. I just, I just want to, I just want to finish this, but I can't find my way because I'm very bad. Bulk up uh, increases physical stats, so I'll take, I'll consider it. Okay, since I can't find my way up, and there's still, I still didn't really do what I wanted to do. I'm just gonna have to figure out the path next time because we are, fi we are technically finishing up the slip cove. But right now, since I can't find my way, I'm really just struggling right now. But I believe since I've already gone through a decent amount of the floor, all that's left are the two major battles that I was mentioning that we we'll do next time. And then I'll go ahead and include Sabrina just to fill up this disappointing episode of getting lost in Slip Co. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting lost, so I'm just going to do that. So guys, I'll call it an end for today's episode right here since I can't find my way. I'm scared. Alright, whatever. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I did hope you enjoyed. So as you can tell, to recap, we just spent today really exploring the Slip Co. And I got lost. I am still lost. And I'm just trying to hope if I can get lucky, I can get out of here. But for right now, that's not looking so hot. So I'm just going to just be lost here until I can find the way out in the next episode. So guys, thank you so <laughs> I can't even focus because I'm still trying to get out. So guys, this has been your boy Ron. Until next time, I'll see you guys back here at the Slip Co. Again, so that way we can finish it up here, get Team Rocket out, so we can go ahead and battle Sabrina for badge number six. I'll see you guys there. Take care.